Welcome in. Today we're going to be doing a thorough cranial nerve exam. We'll be testing quite a few different nerves, such as the olfactory nerve, the optic nerve, the trigeminal nerve, and many more. And I won't bore you with all of the scientific words. I'm sure you know them. Well, why don't we start with some basic information, okay? Have you noticed any changes in your vision, sense of smell, um, color issues, seeing different between colors, any involuntary spasms or movements in your face, mm, any hearing issues, just any basic function that's kind of been out of the ordinary for you. No? Okay. Well, that is wonderful. There's going to be a few tasks that we'll be doing today, so I appreciate your patience. And we'll go ahead and get started with your eyes. Okay. I'll put some gloves on really quick. before we get started. Is your first cranial nerve exam? Or have you done this before? Okay. Well, this should go really smoothly for you then. Okay. These are good. So, we're going to be starting with your eyes. And for the first test, I want you to cover this eye up with your hand, okay? So just hold that there, and I want to have you gaze straight forward at me. And I don't want you to look at my hands. However, I want you to tell me how many fingers I'm holding up without looking directly at my hands. Does that make sense? Okay, so just like in your peripheral vision. Okay, good. Let's start with this side. So go ahead and cover up this side. Or do you want me to do it for you? Okay. Alright, so placing my hand here over your eye. And... You see that? Good. And here. Wonder. 
wonderful there. Okay, and do you wear glasses? No. stick here and I'm going to have you fill up this stick with your eyes for me and I'm going to just make sure that there's no involuntary shaking in your eyes when they move. Okay? Alright, so go ahead and just keep your gaze right on this stick. Okay, ready? Feels good. And then next, go ahead and smile for me. Yeah, big smile, big smile, big smile. Okay, and then frown. Okay, good, 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 good. And smile again. And frown. Okay. Okay, and then go ahead and raise your eyebrows. using a just material to just press gently against your face, okay? And I'll just be asking you a couple questions about it, okay? So just keep those eyes closed. You ready? Okay, here we go. Did you feel that? Okay. Seeing a 
little bit of a different texture, okay? So, close your eyes again. some numbers. And the 
and blank. Good. Okay. And the same thing over here. need to prepare these, so just give me one second. that one. Lastly, I'm just going to be taking a look 
into your eyes with my little flashlight here, okay? So, please don't look into the um, light. I'm gonna put my hand over this eye, and then your eye over here, just gaze behind me at my ear or something not directly. Go ahead and close this side for me, alright? I'll put my hand up there for now. Keep your eye closed. Come up here. Just gently touching your eye up here, okay? I'm trying to be super gentle. Special green light just to do the same thing, but now keep both eyes open. Just look over here for now, okay? Just look right over here. Good. This light is just gonna help me detect for some specific things. But usually it's super rare.
Thank you so much for your patience and cooperation. You did an excellent job with all the tests today. It seems like you're in perfect shape, which is wonderful. But now go ahead and let you enjoy the rest of your day. And we'll probably do another checkup, you know, maybe next year sometime. Hi there! How are you doing today? Wonderful! Thank you so much for coming in. Today we are going to be taking a look at your cranial nerves. Have you had a cranial nerve exam before? Mm -hmm. Okay, and how did that go for you? Do you remember some of the tests? Okay, great! Well, we are going to be testing quite a few of your cranial nerves today, but we won't test every single one of them, okay? But we'll be testing most of them. You might have heard of some of them, such as the optic nerve, the olfactory nerve, the accessory nerve, the vagus nerve. Does some of those sound familiar to you? Okay. Let me throw on some gloves really quick. And we can get started. Do you like pink? Do you happen to have a favorite cranial nerve? Oh, okay. And about how many cranial nerve tests have you done before? Wow, that's quite a lot. Okay, 
Okay, I'm going to be placing my hands on top of your shoulders here and putting a little bit of resistance. And I want you to just lift up, shrug your shoulders, okay? Ready? be doing a similar test, but no words, but just some sounds, okay? Just gonna be using my fingers here, okay? And go ahead and close your eyes for me. And I want you to tell me if you can hear this. Can you hear that? Okay, what about this? Mm-hmm. How about this? Okay, and every time you hear a noise, I want you to say yes, okay? And keep your eyes closed for me.
as the sun to close are far away. Alright, what about this? Close or far away? Good. How about this? Mm-hmm. And this? Excellent. You are a pro. Strawberry. And smell this for me, please. What do you smell there? What does it smell like to you? Excellent. I'm going to be tracing some letters and numbers onto my palm, okay? And I want you to tell me what you think they are. Ready? Mm-hmm. Ready? Okay, next. And I want you to watch the light as it outlines my hand. Ready? Here I have a little pill box and it has some letters on it. I want you to take a look at this and I want you to tell me which letter I'm pointing at, okay? Are you ready?
then let's do it a little bit further away. This might be kind of hard. Don't worry if you can't get it, okay? Ready? Can you see that? Okay. How about this one? Can you read that letter? N? Good. Last one. You. Good. Lastly, I want you to tell me how this material feels on your face, so keep your eyes closed, alright? Hard, a little sharp. Good. Okay, you can open your eyes. Fantastic job. We are all done today. All your cranial nerves, or at least the ones that we tested, seem to be working perfectly. So keep on doing what you're doing. Stay healthy, be active, eat a good diet, get yourself out there, talk to people, get hobbies, all that. Okay, well, I can't wait to see you again next time. Alright, have a wonderful day. Bye. Hi. How are you today? Good. Well, you are back in the doctor's office. Was there something specific bothering you today? No. Okay. So, are you just in for another checkup? Okay, maybe a little bit more detail this time, just to kind of check really specifically, really in detail. Sure. Okay, well, um, I did look at your records. It was recently that we did quite a bit of basic tests, but I do have you know, some other tasks that I'd like to, um, do with you today, and then maybe just some basic ones, since it has been about six months since the last test, or last checkup. Okay, good. Um, do you have any questions before we get started? No? Alright, well... gloves on. Hopefully these will slide on really easily. Perfect. So I do want to kind of 
check your scalp up here. We don't normally look at your scalp in depth too much. Do you have any issues with your scalp ever? Dry? Itchy? Anything like that? However, I want to check your hair now. Just gonna grab a few pieces to look at here. any concern with the hair. Um, you know, since the ends are a little dry, you can always use a bit more of a hydrating shampoo, but overall, your hair and your scalp are in good health. Okay. And let's see, how about we go ahead and do a quick ear exam. It's always good just to do ear exams, you know, every couple months, just in case. So I'm gonna come right up in here into your ear. See if I can see anything in the street. Hmm. 
seeing anything in your record. No signs of any... No signs of anything that could be detrimental your health, so let me just be on the outside. Any pain? Next, let's check your eyes. Take a and follow this light for me just for a few seconds, okay? Yeah, just like that. Perfect. And up and down. Up and down. And side to side. over here. Look over here. And look down here. Down here. 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 Okay, here. Eyes like healthy and well. No signs of puffiness or swelling. You don't normally have puffiness in the eyes, right? Okay, good. And I'm gonna get a little bit closer, so I'm gonna have you just look over here for me, alright? Don't look directly in the light. And again, with this side. Hmm. Yeah. A toast we haven't done before. I'm going to take some samples of your skin around your face and your ears, okay? And I'm going to be placing them in these test tubes. And once we're done, I'll take those test tubes down to the lab and they can run their lab tests on them and see if we can find anything, you know, that we wouldn't be able to catch just right here and right now. Alright? No, it's not anything intrusive, so, yeah, it'll be okay. So, we'll do about four different tests, different samples, okay?
these are open and I'll be using these long q-tips to take a little swab and place them into the test tube the weirdest, all right?
perfect. Wow, I mean, unless something really bizarre comes back from those laps, really, you're in great shape. I mean, everything about you is, you know, looking really healthy. No signs of anything that could, you know, eventually lead to issues. So, whatever you're doing, keep doing. You're doing great. But, the lab can take up to two weeks to get results, but usually we'll get them much sooner. So, when I get the results, I can give you a call, and then I'll also send you an email with a document with the test we run, test we ran, and then um, the results in any notes. Okay. Good. Alright, well, is there anything else before you head out? No. Okay. Well, thank you for being a trooper, and I'm glad that we were able to get that done. And you can expect a call from either me or someone in the office within the next two weeks. Hey, I'm Dr. Lani. Today we're going to be giving you your annual physical exam, right? Mm -hmm. Do you happen to remember the last time you had your physical? Was it last year? Okay, you can't exactly remember. No problem. Well, I'm glad you came in because it's always good to try and get that every year to make sure your body is doing well. And so, we're just going to be doing a couple of different basic tests and whatnot today. Do you have any questions or anything that you wanted to talk about, like health-wise, before we get started? Mm -hmm. Okay, so everything health-wise is going pretty well for you? Alright, well let's go ahead and get started with a couple of questions just to kind of about your day-to-day -day life and how you're feeling and whatnot, okay? Alright, and I'll just be putting in that information over here on my computer, okay? Good. Alright, and are you having any issues falling asleep at night recently, the past few weeks at all? Maybe a couple times a week. Okay, night. Do you take any kind of sleeping medication at all? Okay. And do you typically cut back on caffeine if you consume it at all um, in the afternoon? Like stop maybe about 2 p.m.? Mm -hmm. And do you have any issues concentrating, would you say? Mm -hmm. Okay. And do you eat fruits and vegetables every day, would you say? Or what does that look like with your diet? That's perfect. Wonderful. I'm glad to hear that. And let's see, um, are you exercising daily, a couple times a week, maybe once a week? Sure, yeah. Um, I would definitely say, which I'm sure you know, try and get a little bit more exercise least every other day, or if you can just like go for like a quick walk every day. Um, I know sometimes it's really hard to 
fit exercise into your schedule. Um, but you know, it doesn't have to be like going to the gym every every evening after work or early morning. It can just be, you know, doing a quick walk in your neighborhood or park or, you know, just some at-home exercises. So you can get pretty um, creative with that. Mm -hmm. Sure. Yeah, I can even recommend you some really good, like, at-home workout YouTube channels if you're interested in that, if you watch YouTube at all. Have you ever heard of YouTube? Okay, I'll be sure to put some channel names in your take-home notes, okay? you been feeling sad, down, more depressed than normal the past few weeks? Okay, maybe a bit more down than normal? Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, hmm. is that pretty, is that like a recent thing? We are going to be getting your blood work done today, so we'll kind of take a look at those results and see if there's anything there that may be causing some of the things that you're feeling or dealing with um, recently, okay? Yeah, especially since you can't remember your last physical. Um, and do you remember the last time you got your blood work checked, like your vitamin levels and whatnot? Okay, well, let's definitely get that taken care of, okay? In case we see anything that really stands out. Okay, and do you consume, like, a lot of alcohol a week? Like, maybe mm, three to five drinks a week, like one to two, rarely? tobacco products? Do you smoke or anything? All right, I think we are good to go there. Move my computer back a bit. And so let's go ahead and do some physical on-body tests. So let's first start with listening to your heart, okay? Alright, so I'm going to place this on your chest here and go ahead and do a deep breath in and out for me. Okay. Good, and down here. Perfect. And down here. Alright, and I'm going to move to your back over here. Go ahead. Good. Yeah. And once more for me over here. Excellent. Thank you. Scope to check in your ears, okay? 
look great. Gonna check your eyes, okay? Don't look directly into the light. Just gonna check your pupils. Any issues with vision recently? I see you're wearing contacts. Okay. And are you having yearly eye doctor appointments? to check your vision, update your prescription if need be. Mm-hmm. Good. Let's go ahead and check your throat. So open up wide for me. Say ah. Uh. Okay. All right. Everything looks good there. And are you going to have like um, I guess it's twice a year dental visits? Are you having those every year? Mm-hmm. Okay. Good. Yeah. Just make sure you get those done because you know you don't want to wait too long and then get there and then have all of this stuff done. Um, so try and do those as, you know, normal routine as possible, okay? Alright. Let's check your height. Go ahead and step on that for me.
you just to breathe in normally and I'm gonna press in your stomach, okay? Go ahead. your face, okay? Feeling for any swelling, not a neck. Arms. deep inside your ears.
any immediate pain or tenderness when touching the outsides of the ears or just a little bit inside. Just don't want to hurt you. No? Okay. Not that you know of. Alright, don't let me take a look in your ears. So to start off the session, um, it does look like you have a bit of wax in those ears, so I want to first start off by washing the ears out a bit with some saline solution. It won't hurt if anything, there'll just be a, a little tickle in the ears with the water running through the ears, okay? But I have my syringe here with a saline solution and I'll be holding this bowl under your ears to catch the saline solution that runs out as well as any pieces of wax from your ears, okay? Have you ever done this before? No? Okay. Well, if it works well, then you'll feel a lot better, I'm sure. Okay, we definitely got some pieces out, which is a great sign. Came out really easily. So I want to go ahead and do it on this. Okay. Grab some more solution. Clean this bowl out. Okay. Alright, the same thing over here. I'm going to place this bowl under your ear. Okay, great. Some good work there. 
I'm gonna glance quickly back into the ears to see how much we got. Oh, okay, quite a bit. Good. Okay, there still is a bit in there. Um, I'll use my Q-tip to go back. Alright, I'll be using my Q-tip here, and I'm going to just go inside the ear a bit and try and clear out the rest of that wax in there, alright? We got quite a bit out there. Excellent. And then let's do this here over here. Are you comfortable? Okay. Anything in particular giving you any trouble? Yeah, typically when people come in with ear issues, the most common thing I see is that it's just some, you know, basically harmless buildup that just needs, you know, a doctor or someone in the medical field to help them flush that out safely. Typically, it will make all of the issues go away, but not always, which is why it's always a good idea to talk to a professional. Okay, I'm gonna look in here.
another peek into your ears to see your progress. You don't have any kind of dizziness, correct? Alright, good. Alright, so since we took care of the air cleaning, next I'm going to be doing a little hearing test for you, okay? Just to see if things have gotten better or if there's, you know, something that we didn't catch that might be a bit more serious than the simple tests we did, okay? So to do this, I find it's best to cover up the eyes. So I'm going to be putting this over your face here. So just keep your eyes closed and relaxed. And the first thing we're going to start with are some listening tasks to some different words and I want you to repeat the words after me and tell me if you hear any like fuzziness or if there's not enough clarity or it just doesn't sound right and normal, okay? Alright, so the reason why I covered up your face and your eyes is that you wouldn't directly know which ear I'm coming at, okay? So let's go ahead and start here.
Okay, so you did excellent. I don't think you have any issues with hearing those words. I want to do one last test just because it's a little bit different than just hearing and speaking backwards. So this is going to be another hearing test, but instead with sounds. So I'm going to cover up your eyes again, and then I'm going to be doing different sounds in your ears. And I want you to describe to me what you hear, maybe what kind of material it is, maybe what it reminds you of, what it sounds like, and if it's clear, if it's muffled, anything like that, okay? Got it. Alright, here we go, covering up your face. Perfect. You nailed that one. Okay, next. Wonderful. And then lastly,
Perfect. Excellent. Now you did really, really well there. Wonderful job. I don't think there's any issues with your hearing. So, yeah, I mean, I think really it was just the minor blockage in the ears, which we took care of. If you have anything like that again, any ear pain or just concern, just come back in and we'll check your ears, okay? So, just don't hesitate to call us, okay? Good, we'll go home and get some rest and have a wonderful rest of your day. Okay, see you.